Hi guys, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel. So this week I went and bought myself a yarn winder. So I'm just going to show you how to assemble it and how to wind your yarn and then I'm going to give it a mark out of 10. So firstly you would just want to put it on your table and tighten it up with this. Do it quite tight because you don't want it flying off your table. And then you just align those bits and just twist it on. Then just want to thread your yarn through there and then put it in the two slits at the top. I usually just stick it down with a bit of sticky tape so it doesn't come out and then you're ready to wind your yarn. And it is as simple as that. Now over the past few days I have wound about 60 of these and they are just the, the ones you get from China. They're 50 gram balls and they're bamboo cotton. I can't read anything else on it because, like I said, it's in Chinese. So that's what I've been doing over the past two days. And then you get all these knots. It just winds them into tiny little cakes. This size you can only wind about 100 grams, uh, but that's enough for me. This keeps coming out. You just want to keep your hand on the yarn like this just to give it a little bit of tension, just so it doesn't wind too loosely. Every ball that I've had of this over that I've wound up over the past couple of days, nearly everyone has had a knot in it, and um, sometimes three or four knots, so I am not impressed with it at all. The yarn that is not the winder. So it just carries on winding like that, and you can see how neat that is. You, I got this off eBay, you can get yours off eBay as well, um, they were just under £10. I ordered it on Monday and it came on Thursday, so I think that was pretty good. Uh, markings out of 10, I would give it a 7 out of 10. The reason being for that is because sometimes you're winding and this bit here comes flying off and then sometimes this bit if you haven't got your tension on the yarn this way it just goes back in and falls down and then you can't wind up anymore and then sometimes if you stop winding and you're not in the right place and you like like that it will wind everything at the bottom and, and you don't want that and then you've just got to try and align it again which is a bit of a but apart from those things I just mentioned, I absolutely love it. Um, I've been going around my yarn stash the past couple of days just seeing what yarn I can wind into cakes. And it's as simple as that really. I'm nearly coming to the end of this ball now. Right, so I'm going to just leave it there and um, to lift off I just take this take this tape off you see you've got your tail end and you just want to lift it off as so and then you've got a center pole on your cakes I also find because now they're wound into cakes you can store a lot more of them in the same place 
so that is it thank you for watching this video and um, please subscribe if you haven't done already and i would just like to say a big thank you to those of you that have subscribed this week thank you bye